Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you today about the number one way to break your chronic pain cycle. So I'm coming to you today from my office. I do not have the uh, AC completely figured out yet because I don't have all the doors on and everything else. So uh, this is in my new office. So I might look a little glisteny because it's hot outside and the AC was on, but it's not on right now. So here we go. So to break your chronic pain cycle, you have to change your focus. Listen to that again. To break your chronic pain cycle, you have to change your focus. Now, if you're experiencing chronic pain right now and you're listening to this, you're like, Mark, you're full of it. I had, I shattered my leg five years ago, or I had back surgery two years ago and I'm still having a lot of pain, or I have fibromyalgia. What do you mean change your focus? Well, let me explain. So for some of you who know me, you know I'm a physical therapist, but also that years ago I was involved in a life-threatening car accident where a car T-boned us right where I was sitting and the car folded up on top of me. The, the uh, fire department had to cut me out and they flew me by helicopter to the local trauma hospital because they weren't sure if I was gonna make it because of my head wounds. I had emergency surgery where I had two blood transfusions, shattered my right leg in eight places where they put two long rods, six screws, four cables and a plate to put my leg back together. I didn't walk for about five and a half months and I was out of work for a year. I had a second surgery a year later to take out some of the hardware, but the long rods and some of the hardware is gonna stay in there for the duration. So that's where I was resulting, but it resulted in seven years of chronic pain and significant major pain that affected every aspect of my life. Now I had a lot of trouble breaking that chronic pain cycle because the only thing I could focus on was the pain. And I didn't see a light at the end of the tunnel. All I could see was the pain, the problems, the stress, the overwhelm that I had at that time in that aspect of my life. You see, there's a tendency in life to default to the negative and to look at everything that's wrong that's going on in their life. It's actually a protective mechanism of the brain. Now, George Lucas said, always remember, your focus determines your reality. You see, your brain and your mind is an amazing thing, but sometimes unknowingly, it can work against you. It's kind of like social media, the algorithm in social media. If you look at sports posts all the time, guess what you'll get more of? You'll get more sports posts. If you listen to political rhetoric, and Lord knows why you would want to do that, you'll get more political rhetoric and see that in your social uh, media algorithms. Your brain is the same way. You see, if you focus on pain and your problems and your stress, your brain will give you more back of pain and problems. See, it's only giving you more of whatever you're focusing on. So if all you can focus on is pain, then you'll continue to get more pain and focus on more pain. And that cycle becomes a negative mindset loop that's hard to break. So when I was in chronic pain for seven years, I finally got to the point where I said, enough is enough. And I started researching everything from pain management, pain psychology, uh, personal development and self-growth, everything from the Lao Tse Zung to Buddha, to the Bible, to Norman Vincent Peale, to Tony Robbins, to James Allen, to W. Clement Stone, anything I could get my hands on. And what I found out is where I put my focus was where my mind would go. So if I was focusing on pain and problems, that's where I went and I could not break that cycle. But what made all the difference was when I changed my focus. I went from focusing on my pain to focusing on solutions to my challenges and focusing on what I wanted instead of what I didn't want. You see, if you focus on what you want and what your goals are and what you want to accomplish, then your mind will go to work on the solutions that are needed to make those things happen. So I transitioned over a period of time to changing my focus away from my pain and giving myself permission to let go of the accident. So for me, what I focused on was the trauma of that accident and all the pain that was resulting on it and the worry of the future of the pain that I might have. And when I focused on what I wanted to accomplish and what I wanted to do, then all of a sudden the focus wasn't on my pain and my chronic pain went away. Now, my pain is not gone. I have pain. I get pain just like the next person. But the difference is I get pain in response to something that I've done during my day that warranted that pain level. If I, I love to be in the garden, I love to hike. If I hike too many miles or if I'm in the garden for four to six hours during a day on a weekend, guess what? There's a good chance that I'll probably have pain the next day. 
And sometimes I flare myself up for a week or two. But it's an acute pain flare-up that I know I will get over. And I don't focus on the pain and the pain coming back or the pain staying. I say, okay, I've got pain. Now I'm going to get past this. Let's move on. So when I sit here today and I talk to you, I can truly say to you, the number one tip I could say for you to break your chronic pain cycle is to change your focus. Change your focus from always focusing on the pain and the stress of the pain and the worry of the pain in the future to what is it that you want to accomplish? What do you want to be, do, and have in life? Maybe the pain has stopped you from doing a certain activity. Well, your goal is to do that activity for a certain amount by this date. Now, yes, you have pain. Yes, you had a, possibly had a traumatic event or a surgery or a diagnosis or something that happened that's preventing you from doing that. But if you focus on what you want to do and what you will accomplish, then your mind will go to work on how you will accomplish that despite the things that happened to you. So instead of focusing on that traumatic event, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. It doesn't mean forget it completely, but it means use it now. Reach your goals despite what's happened to you. Change your focus. Tony Robbins said, where your focus goes, your energy flows. And where your energy flows, whatever you're focusing on will grow. So in other words, your life is controlled by what you focus on. So do you want your life to be controlled by pain and stress and overwhelm? I don't think so. I know I didn't. And when I was stuck there for seven years, it was challenging. I want my energy and my focus to go on what I want to accomplish. So the next time you're feeling yourself in a bad cycle of chronic pain, and it doesn't have to be chronic pain. It can be stress, overwhelm, anxiety. Try to shift your focus to what you want to accomplish and what you want rather than what you don't want. Roy Bennett said, whenever something bad happens, keep calm, take a few breaths, and try to shift your focus to something positive. Now, it's not always that easy, but if you try to maintain a positive, constructive, what I call a proactive mindset, and focus on the positive things in your life, and focus on what you want to be, do, and have, and focus on your goals and what you want to accomplish, then you'll find you'll stop focusing on the pain. Now, it's not so easy and it doesn't happen immediately. But what I found with myself and other people that I've helped is that if you change or shift your focus to what you want to accomplish and what you want to be, do, and have in relationship to your goals and where you want to be in your life, then you'll start to see that your focus will shift away from the stress that you have about the chronic pain or anxiety or overwhelm, and you'll start to see that you'll move forward with positive results in your life. I want you to try to implement that shift in your focus this week. Well, I hope this information helped you out. And if you're seeing this video anywhere other than my blog, go check my blog out at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. Have a great day. And remember, as always, be positive, be motivated, be focused, and be well.